Hey everybody, welcome to another Simon Kids Read Along. I'm Tim McKenna, and I'm the author of In a Garden. And I happen to be in my garden right now, sitting next to a really big plant that started as a little seed when I first planted it, and now it's super huge. And at the end of this video, we're gonna pluck a vegetable from inside it, so stick around. But first, let's read In a Garden. Written by Tim McKenna, illustrated by Amy Sakuro. In a garden, on a hill, sparrows chirp and crickets trill. In the earth, a single seed sits beside a millipede. Worms and termites dig and toil, moving through the garden soil. Then at last, a tiny shoot ever slowly forms a root, first a seedling, then a sprout, pushing, bursting, up and out. In a garden, day by day, newborn flowers find their way. Sunlight warms the morning air, dewdrops shimmer here and there. Earwigs scuttle, beetles scurry, Roly-poly, scoot, and worry. Sleepy slugs and garden snails leave behind their silver trails. Frantic teams of busy ants scramble up the stems of plants. In a garden, week by week, little creatures hunt and squeak. All the while, a sprout is growing without anybody knowing. Buds emerge and leaves unfold, braving wind and heat and cold, stretching, spreading, open wide, just the perfect place to hide underneath it's safe and snug for a lonely ladybug. In a garden, Showers fall, dainty drinks for one and all. Flower petals, bold and bright, blossom in the beaming light. Blooms of every shape and size call to bees and butterflies. Daisy, foxglove, tulip, plum, daffodil, chrysanthemum. Sips of nectar warm and sweet, pollen clings to heads and feet. Round and round they buzz and flit, only pause to rest a bit. In a garden, bugs aglow, flashing, flying to and fro. Lace wings, gnats, mosquitoes, spiders, dragonflies, and water striders live among the cattail reeds, lily pads, and water weeds, keeping hid from hungry eyes, using colors to disguise. Crafty bugs with clever tricks look like leaves, or bark, or sticks. In a garden full of green, many moments go unseen. Finding shelter in the shade, careful rows of eggs are laid as a cool and gentle breeze whispers through the tops of trees. Then a seed slips to the ground, sinking in without a sound. Time goes by and by and then. Life returns to start again. Now what are these kids doing? They've got some colorful rocks in this wagon. What are they doing? 
Let's find out. Always changing, never still, in a garden, on a hill. And look, they use those rocks to make a pretty little heart in their garden. Now that's the end of In a Garden, the story, but there's actually some really fun facts on the last page. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but I'll read the first paragraph just to give you a taste. How does a garden grow? Gardens are filled with a variety of life. Plants, bugs, birds, mice, snakes, and many other organisms come and go in a garden ecosystem. Throughout the seasons of a year, plants grow, flourish, die, and start the process over and over again, thanks in part to the roles living creatures, especially insects, play in a garden. And that is In a Garden. Thanks for reading along with me. Now, I did promise that we would do some gardening, so let's find out what's inside this plant. Is it a pepper? Could it be a tomato? Maybe a banana? I don't know, let's find out. It's yellow. Hmm. It's a yellow squash. These are really good. I chopped this up and put it in my salad. All right, well, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you wanna see more videos like it, be sure to subscribe to the Simon Kids YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. Good reading, good gardening, and have a great day. Bye.